We're going to work on kicks, y'all. So we're going to go through our front kicks, our round kicks, and our side kicks. These are very, very important because these are the basic kicks that we learn in the studio. And I want to make sure that you have a good basis when you come in for your first day. So left foot forward, right foot back, fighter stance. We want to make sure you're about arm length away from the back is a good start point. We're going to go into round kicks first, okay? Round kicks is one of the strongest kicks we learn here. It's one of the most favorite kicks a lot of our clients love. So it really targets your abdominals, your hips, and your glutes. If you do it right, you're going to really build some strong legs. If you do it incorrectly, that's where you hurt yourself. So that's where I come in the picture and help you guys out. So we're going to use your right leg, right? Back leg. My front foot has to pivot, right? So you're going to pivot first before you can turn your shoulder, your hip, your knee all into the direction of that kick, okay? So my front foot's gonna pivot. I'm going to turn my shoulder, hip, knee into it. I'm gonna chop that arm, hit with my shin, point my toes, and I'm gonna reset back, okay? So I'm gonna pivot, kick, reset back. Now, a good way to actually help practice, meaning, is if you're doing a right kick, take your right hand, place it on the bag. Your front foot's gonna pivot, so that way you can be able to see and get a little more of a balance and know that you're going to hit with your shin and not your toes. And why not your toes? Because that way you can actually hurt your toes. You don't want to hit with your ankle, you want to hit with your shin. So it gives you a nice little cushion and you're going to reset back. That is your back leg round kick. We're going to now go into the front leg round kick. Take your right foot, you're going to step out, almost like a little dance move, right? Like you're dancing with somebody, right? Take your right foot, you're going to step out, chop your left arm down, hit with your shin, and then reset. Notice, you have to use your shoulder, your hip, your knee, all turns into the direction of that kick. So it does require some coordination, but with time, it does uh, become a lot easier. Take your right foot, step, turn your shoulder into it, and then chop the left arm. By chopping those arms down, it allows the hips to turn all the way around. So one more time, step out, boom, and reset. We're now gonna go to the front kicks. So front leg, back leg. Front leg is very, very simple. Whichever leg that kicks on the front leg, for the front kick, that arm comes down. Keep your chin tucked in. That left knee up, I'm bringing it with the ball of my foot. Hips are gonna go forward, shoulders go back. Chopping forward, and I'm landing down. So this is our left leg front kick coming up. Push, and reset. So I wanna hit with the ball of my foot. Do not wanna hit with my whole foot, and I don't wanna lock it out. I always wanna keep my leg slightly bent. So this right here is a front leg push kick. Now we're gonna use a back leg. Same motion, but from the back. We're gonna turn that shoulder, chop down that right arm, raise the knee up, hit with the ball of the foot, and reset. Now, I recommend to measure out how far the bag is, so just measure by, by having your foot out to see how far you should be for that kick. So, I'm going to turn, chop that arm, bring the knee up, hit with the ball of my foot, and then reset. So that is your back leg push kick. So, next one, we're gonna go into our side kicks, okay? So this is gonna really work the glutes, target the abdominals, turn to the side. So we're gonna go left leg side kick, aka front leg side kick. So I'm using my front leg, left knee comes into my abdominals, going in, I kick, and I land down. Let me show you what my feet is doing because this is very, very important, okay? So my back leg turns away from the bag to allow me to keep my balance. If I leave it parallel, it's gonna be very hard for me to keep my balance, okay? So as I bring my knee in, I pivot my toes out to extend, to allow better balance, and I just land it in front. A side kick is like a front leg, but when I'm turning to the side, it's easier to push. So it's just like the front leg push kick, okay? So coming in, kick, and I lay on my knees bent. So that is our front leg side kick. Our final kick is our rear leg side kick. Left foot's gonna step out, left elbow to knee, coming in, extend out, land in front. Now, of course the coaches are gonna go through all these moves during class, but I wanna give you a good basis on how to do them. So, left foot's gonna step, bam! Elbow comes in, engage my core, hit my glutes, and I land down. Notice how you don't have to have any power on these kicks, meaning I want you to start off small, I want you to start off like slow a little bit, to slowly that way you can bend it, you can actually bring it all to the max kicks. Let's go through one more time. Here are all of them. Left front kick, Right front kick, right round kick, left round kick, left side kick, and right side kick. It is your boy Chris, part two, how to rock those bags. I look forward to seeing you crushing those goals at Rockstar. Bam! Later, guys.